Hey there everybody, my name is Tony. Welcome back to Motorstorm Pacific Rift. Today, we're going to be hitting up the festival once more for four more races. Starting off in the Earth Zone with Razorback, punching the rolls. A racing truck ranks six, rec limit of three, two laps. Alright, let me go find a racing truck here real quick. I'm going to use the Patriot Rodeo with the super sleek looking black paint. See how it does. Okay. Nice. This truck does not look like I thought it was going to look, but I'll take it anyway. Oh, I got pit turned. Okay, we're good. Chill on the boost. Ooh, I'm playing a risky game right here. Wow, they're fast though. There's no way I'm a monster truck is that fast legitimately. I'm in fourth. He's getting rubber band push hard right now. <laughs> How fast do you think we can get him to go? I bet you if I got a track of the rally car, I just got the top speed, you'd see some physics breaking stuff going on. I'm pushing third with full rubber banding right now, dude. Like, there's no way. I'm not going to be in this spot for long. I'm going to run out of boost and they're going to pass me. Unless I can just outline them constantly. How's that for lines? I'm getting a lot of lag. There we go. It was like, you're going too fast. You gotta recalculate everything. I'm giving this AI a run for its money right now, dude. Oh man, you guys are screwed now. I'm going in the first, or the second lap in second place and just about to be first. Oh man, they still, they don't stand a chance. No way. This guy stays ahead of me. Look at him go though, he's really giving, he's trying to hit me up here. Uh, oh, I don't know where that guy came from. Let's see what happens here. This is undoubtedly the fastest way to do this. At least for my situation here. But you some of you thought I was going to die right there. Now this guy has been on the boost this entire race. You seeing this? There's no way that guy's going to stay that far ahead. Ooh, that was... Might have been a fatal flaw right there. Yep. I live, though. No, the boulder. No, the boulder. Ah, oh, I forgot about it. I'm screwed. Yeah, I got I got ruined by one mistake. And that's how it goes, though. That's how this race is. This is more about what I thought rank six was going to be. That last video on rank six, way too easy. This one's more accurate. Where I'm absolutely blind. You still can't catch. Oh, I didn't mean to quit that. They're absolutely flying, and you still can't catch them. I'm going to get right back into the same event here. Okay, we're back. If I remember right, I remember struggling with this. The first time I ever played this game, a long time ago, I, uh, I remember struggling with this particular ticket a lot. Mainly because the AI, one of them always got ahead like that, and then you just couldn't catch them. I think the way I won it was I actually body-slammed 
the uh, guy that was in first place in order to beat him at the line. <laughs> I T-boned him right where I died in the last attempt here. I T-boned the guy in first place. Oh no. And, oh no. <laughs> and that's how I won it. Oh. These guys are, I can't go for the cut right now. Actually, I could have. But what I'm going to have to bank on is making this guy swerve. Am I still going to make that? Barely. The other guy didn't. They're yeah, going to be full out cranking this. Sorry for the sudden camera rip. I don't have time at this moment to do the nice camera swivels that I've been doing. <laughs> I, I have to know where they're at and then immediately look at where I'm going. Oh, barrel roll. Oh, man. I almost nailed a barrel roll off that. There's one thing I didn't like about this game. One of the only things I don't like about this game is that if you do a barrel roll, it turns off the landing. Man, I just got rammed into that. I even tried to ram the guy to get him out of my way. and I did not have him. But, anyway, what I was saying is, when you do a flip, your car immediately loses, like, 50% of its durability. For no reason. Like, just because you did a flip. But where is that guy in first place? Get pit turned, loser. Pit maneuvered. Where is that guy in first, though? He's got to be way up here. We're going to have to take the middle route. I don't know where this dude is. I need a faster turn here. Holy smokes, that semi's flying. This is going to be a hard race. Look at that. I just got bullied, man. And there's no way I make this jump now. Not a shot. No way I get up enough speed. I made it. Barely. But I made it. Make one mistake, though, and you're out. I might be able to pull this off, depending upon where first place is. First place is nowhere to be found. Never mind. I saw his little, I saw a flash of his boost. He's taking the outside route right now. There he is. There's no way I catch him though. He's gonna full boost all the way down the line. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. That guy got ahead. Not a chance. All right, so two seconds back. I'm gonna have to try this again. Okay, we're gonna have to start playing a little bit aggressive from here on out, meaning I'm gonna actually have to go out of my way to take people out. Okay, or that guy can just die himself. He was like, oh, you're going to try to run me over? But just die for you. Well, uh, this race is already probably scrapped, but I'll go for it. We'll see what happens. Man, this route is not faster. Not a chance. But the reason I did it is because I want this line up right here. I'm going to try this outside route and see if I can get something going with it. Normally I wouldn't do this route, but the other routes obviously aren't working. I might actually stand a shot here. They're all bunched up. 
What was that? Do you see how fast that semi just crossed that? Ooh. There happens to be a big right here. That guy just did the, like, electric slide there to <laughs> come over and try to block me in the water. That's what that's supposed to look like. Oh! Dude, chill, man! For crying out loud! You go blatantly out of your way there to take me out. No. Uh-huh, I saw that. They can't beat me with speed, so they must beat me with violence. The beauty of Motorstorm. I'll risk it for a biscuit. Come try to run me over. Bet you will. Oh, yeah, there he is. Took himself out in the process, though, didn't he? He's nowhere to be seen. Dude died. Trying to take me out right there. Yeah, this is, this is what I was talking about earlier on in the series. These guys are literally going to get suicidal with trying to take me out. To the point that it detriments their own race. Just to try to kill me. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Otherwise, this game would be too easy. There's Mr. Green Machine, who decided to take a right at the last second. Couldn't make up his mind there for a minute. Got a hot route swap, though. Okay, we're doing the old method. Yeah, it worked. Oh, I got rid of one of them. Let's go. Okay, I bumped that guy. The semi-truck is catchable. No, maybe not. Hold an absolutely absurd turn there. We're going to be on this one for a while. So Green Machine is the, is the big rig I got to take out up there. The Lunar Tech Buffalo. Dimitri. I got to go murder Dimitri here real quick. Figure out a way to pull that off. So that he can't catch us. I'm looking at you, turd. Because I can take out these guys. As you just saw. Took them both out. Got passed. Where y'all at? Oh, they're coming. Got a whole mob back there. Okay, I'm actually going to intentionally go really inside right here. See if I can throw off the tracking a little bit. We're taking the outside route to avoid the big rigs, by the way. As you can tell, they seem to be quite a problem at the moment. I could bait the green guy into trying to make that jump and then have him not make the jump. One behind me. I wonder if it's faster to just go straight down the middle of that. I highly doubt it. It's already so fast just to do this. I do wonder, you know, if you can save a couple seconds or like a part of a second maybe. Alright, I am in first by a mile. That was the beauty of a turn. Chill it on the boost. Taking the extra boost route so I can stay up here. Alright. Who took out the sign? I'm actually chilling it on the boost right now intentionally. Because I want to be able to use it right here. So that way I can drive my way all the way up this hill without losing speed. 
put it really close to that sign. I hear that big rig. He's coming. I don't think he chased me. You know that or it got really slow. Let's have a look. Oh, he didn't make the jump. Get wrecked, loser. Now all I gotta deal with is everybody else chasing me now, but at least I don't have to deal with Dimitri. Yeah, we can pull this off. Okay, a little bit hairy, but it worked. Now, I see that the pillar is out. I gotta go wide. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I was like that close to dying on that right there. Stay away from me. Or boost it over the line. Screw that, dude. I ain't risking it with Bob Polly. <laughs> that ending, though, dude, with the, the two, there were two boulders. One here and like one here, and I happened to squeeze right between the two completely blind. Completely guessed where they were going to be. <sighs> oh, man, dude. All right, well, I got the Eliminator ticket in the Earth Zone. Nice. Next up, in the Air Zone, we have the Edge Fallout with a Mud Plugger. It's a speed event. That's gonna be hard. Okay, let's use the Jester BXL. It's one of the only events that I would actually use this particular mud plugger on because the tires stick out so far that it's easy to get tipped by stuff. Like people can just run over the edge of your tire. But being that there's no other people here, I think I can get away with using this one. Oh, I remember this one. This is one of the last events I ever got gold on when I first did all gold. This one absolutely kicked my butt. I just couldn't do it. And that's why. It's got these crazy turns in it. I remember I did it with the Atlas Varjack, which is that van. <laughs> Uh oh. Stick the landing, please. Oh, thank you. Okay. With 60 checkpoints, though, there's so much time to screw up, and this is a brutal track for this run. Because it has you go through all the skinny routes. But the key to it is you're consistent with your speed. I'm nailing it though. Come on. It's gonna get so hard, I don't have enough time. Oh, I'm still getting three seconds though. I didn't realize that. Three seconds to checkpoint. That makes it. That's a huge deal. I'm gonna make the turn. Thank you. Taking a real far outside turn. Man, this going backwards on this is so weird. It's trippy. It's actually really cool. I wish they had a backwards mode for this track. Like that's more, that screams the edge more than going forwards on it because you're like, you're sliding off that edge right there, you know?
I think I'm going to pull this off, but boy, it's going to be close. Wait, do I need 15 or 30 seconds? I can't remember. I thought I needed 30 seconds, but I now realize I might have only needed 15. I might be blowing this clear out of the water. Well, I hope it's 15 because it was 15. I blew it out of the water. Dude, the first time I did that, though, it took me like, I don't even know how many tries to get that. Just shows you how good I've gotten at this game over the years. Okay, but next up, we have Scorched, Blaze of Glory, and Eliminator. Being that I've used both a racing truck and a mud plugger already in this video, I'm actually going to use a monster truck, which is a terrible idea for this track and the fact that it's an Eliminator. But, eh, it is what it is. I'm going to use the old rusted Lunar Tech Grendel to do it as well. I think it just fits. It's very Mad Max-esque. Let's see what we got here. What people can I run over? <laughs> you all are screwed. I'm the biggest thing in this entire race. Should have no problems getting run over. My problem is going to be speed. Which means you play aggressive. Or I get in person, stay there. One of the two. Jackson Stones, the first out. That's an L. Travis Ryan is coming up. I don't think he's going to get anywhere either. I think he's going to be die. He's out. Shandy Pan. Normally that guy's pretty good. My experience at least. Alright, sure, I'll take this route. Daddy Pauly. Oh, they took the slower route. Mike Divine. Magic Mike name over here. Okay. I'm running out of people quick to catch these two guys up here. Chunky Baxter. I think I can pull this off. Mohinder. Mohinder is usually a really good AI. I'm not kidding. In my experience, at least. Mohinder is good boy. Dimitri is a really good one, too, which, I mean, you, as you know, I just got my butt kicked by him earlier. Weeman Jones. I don't know much about Weeman Jones. I'd say he's mid-tier. Excuse me. Preston Socks. That was one I'm not actually familiar with at all. Malia Hindley. Malia? Malia. Malia? Not sure. Might get past at the line here. Nope. We got him. Nice. I went pretty good. Being being huge and being able to run over everybody is a very nice perk to have. Whoa. Okay, so we're now, next up we got the Water Zone, Happy Trails, rank 6, 2 laps, target time of 2 minutes and 55 seconds, with a rally car. This is absolutely one of my favorite track and vehicle combinations, and I absolutely must use the Fall for Dynamo with this paint. So, uh, let me tell you a short story. If you've been watching my speedrun videos for a really long time for this game, you'll know that I used to exclusively use this rally car in speedruns. And I did that because it was my favorite rally car because it just 
handled like I expected it to, based off of the design of the car. And since then, I just, I've had like a special place in my heart for this car. The old tea bucket. But I love this rally car. And I don't really think it has any better perks than any of the other ones. I just really like this rally car. Like, it's so good. It, uh... Like, look at it go! It looks so classy. <laughs> like, can you imagine getting your butt kicked by a super modified T-Bucket? I would pay legit money to get this car in real life. Like, a buttload of money. I mean, I'm dead, but... To get a full functional rally car? Like, I'm talking, like, a rally racing ready rally car. That was... Built to look like a tea bucket. I mean, we had to have, like, some reinforcement stuff on the top of it, because, you know, for safety. But... If I could just have that, dude, I would be a happy man. It'd be so cool. Ever get super huge on YouTube? Which, oh, come on, look, look at my chances aren't looking great at the moment. But, uh, if I ever get super huge on YouTube, and I get a ridiculous amount of money, I'll, I, uh, I might consider actually building one of these. Like, getting it custom built. Just so I could have it. It'd be so awesome. With the 8 ball and everything. In the back here, you Italian Gagliano, or however that car is pronounced, I never did figure it out. Uh oh. Man, I've just been chilling this whole time. I haven't really been paying attention to the actual race. I should probably uh, go try to actually catch this guy, shouldn't I? Ooh, I got a bad bump. But he is scooting right now. I have to cut up my sleeve. Can I make it fast? Ooh, a little bit rougher on the edges. I don't think that's going to be enough. Nope. Guy's just too fast. No, fellow Fawful Dynamo, don't do this to me. We must band together to take him out. I'm actually going around the outside just so I can bump him. Yes, the bump. The bump. The bump is clutch. Sarah Hunter. Whoa, whoa, is Sarah Hunter? Is that the person in the... Or is that Alley Stoneground over there in the other Fall for Dynamo? I'm not sure. Either way, we got it. Let's go, man. That means I'm going to unlock some, a new event as well. Let's see what we got. We have the speed ticket in the water zone. Dope. All right. Well, that completes this video. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Total Dude. Peace out.